You wake up one morning and you feel a tan, eerie silence inside your skull. Not the usual chaos, not the endless digital static, the lust, the guilt, the confusion. Just silence, sharpened silence. Something is shifting. This is day 21 of semen retention. Most men never make it here because the system is not designed to let them. Porn was free for a reason. It was a neurochemical leash. And for the first time in years, you have unclipped it. Your brain, the most powerful biological supercomputer known to man, has started to reboot. Dopamine receptors are recalibrating. Neural pathways built around instant gratification, sexual fantasy, and shame are collapsing. And something ancient, something primal, is rising in their place. You can feel your memory clearing, your focus sharpening, your aggression refining. And this is not spirituality, this is science. If you are serious about breaking this cycle, join the Telegram channel now. The link is in the description. No one told you that semen retention is not just a discipline, it is a neurological war. Your brain has been hijacked for years by micro hits of dopamine. Every tab, every reel, every OnlyFans leak, these were not entertainment. These were chemical chains. Day 21 is when the brain begins to win the fight. And this fight is not metaphorical. Your prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain responsible for focus, discipline, long-term visions, starts to recover function. Mr. Eye scans show improved gray matter density in regions tied to executive control. Your limbic system, especially the amygdala and nucleus accumbens, these dopamine-hungry beasts start to shrink their grip. Men on day 21 report a sudden increase in peace, but it is not softness, it is presence. You are no longer sprinting from one artificial high to the next. You can sit in stillness. You can delay gratification. You can walk into a room and command energy without needing to prove anything. That is the aura forming through chemistry, not charisma. Men with 21 days of semen retention show elevated testosterone levels. Not because the body is making more, but because it is wasting less. Every drop of retained seed signals the endocrine system. Preserve, protect, dominate. Your facial bones start to feel tighter. Your jawline cuts sharper. That is not magic. It is hormonal architecture reshaping. And women notice they do not know why. Uh, they just feel it. You are no longer broadcasting the frequency of neediness. You are broadcasting direction. The brain at day 21 is not just thinking clearly it is finally thinking like a man. It's not like a consumer, not like a beggar, like a builder, like a king. Urine kings. Do not waste their essence on pixels. They guard it like it is sacred. Ice. Because biologically it is. Your brain-derived neurotrophic factor begins to rise. This molecule is like miracle grow for neurons. It helps repair synapses. Men on retention report deeper dreams, flashbacks from childhood, and sudden recall of things they had long forgotten. That is not fantasy, it is rewiring. Your hippocampus is healing. This is when your masculine memory returns, not just what happened, but who you are, what you once believed, what you once stood for. On day 21, you are not just retaining semen, you are retaining identity, and the world starts to push back. We'll notice envy. People who once mocked your path will now feel uncomfortable in your presence. They will not say it, but they will sense something has shifted. Your gaze is no longer seeking approval. It is scanning purpose. And that makes people nervous, especially those still plugged in. Your friends may ask why you are so quiet, why you are so intense, why your laugh has changed, why you stare into space as if building empires in your mind. It is because you are. The male brain unleashed from addictions the most dangerous force on earth. It built cities, it charted oceans, it split atoms. But first it had to suffer. Day 21 is not bliss. It is withdrawal. Your body might ache. Your sleep may break. Your anger will spike. That is the friction of rebooting. When dopamine receptors reset, the brain experiences a temporary void. This is your crucifix. Carry it. Do not run. Do not numb it with a scroll. Do not bury it with junk food or fake intimacy. Sit in it. Face the black screen of silence and wait. On the other side of that void, is masculine clarity. And clarity is terrifying to a man who has lived in fog his whole life. You will start to see the traps, the manipulations, the lies sold to boys about pleasure, performance, and porn being harmless. You will see how your genius was milked out of you 
One ejaculation at a time. One scroll at a time, and you will get angry. Let it rise. That fire is not rigid is resurrection. Trannel it. Build something, right? Train. Create. Speak. On day 21, your brain is finally capable of depth again. Not shallow attention. Not memory veil wisdom. Real thoughts. Real spiritual hunger. Real vision. This is when books become interesting. When solitude becomes sacred. When nature begins to speak again. That is neuroplasticity in action your brain forming new masculine monk mode circuits and if you break now you will collapse back into the cycle the chains will come back with interest because the devil does not attack you when you are weak he attacks when you are rising expect the temptations expect the old triggers expect the mental whispers just one time you earned it no you do not bargain with demons you starve them when your brain sees that you are serious it rewards you Synaptic pruning kicks in. That means your brain starts deleting the old circuits you no longer use. The addiction pathways begin to die. The cravings drop, and something magical happens. You feel joy, again real joy. It's not the high of lust, but the warmth of mastery, the pride of discipline, the pleasure of self-respect. This is not monk talk. Now this is neurological transformation. The studies are there. Men on semen retention have shown improved cognitive clarity, reduced cortisol, and higher drive to pursue long-term goals. And the most dangerous part, it is contagious. Other men start to notice. They ask what you are doing. They think it is your haircut, your cologne, your gym routine. But it is none of that. It is your brain. It is broadcasting a different signal. One of restraint. One of earned peace. One of focused aggression. That energy is rare, and the world craves it. Only few will pay the price. Because semen retention is not a hack, it is a war against your flesh, against your programming, against your past. But on day 21, the tide turns. Your brain is now an ally, not an enemy, and that changes everything. You can sit with your pain, can sit with your ambition, you can sit with your power, because you've proven to your nervous system, I am in control. I do not need release to be at peace. I do not need a screen to feel alive. I do not need her validation to feel like a man. I am already him. And from this day forward, you will never be able to unknow that. Even if you fall, the seed of awareness is planted. And it will grow. It will burn in your chest like a prophecy. And you will rise again. As a man whose brain has tasted freedom cannot stay in chains. If this message hit your soul, consider supporting us with the thanks button. Even the smallest contribution helps us keep going.